Hey guys, Karen with Bliss Brush Studio here. Today I am working on my tree. It's a fallen tree, and if you live anywhere near the Mount Hood National Forest, you know that fallen trees occur with high frequency, like big windstorm or even just rain comes through, it feels like a tree falls. So um, a couple weekends ago for our anniversary, my husband took us out hiking to Devil's Peak, which is like an old fire watch station up in the Mount Hood National Forest near the Pacific Crest Trail. So if you saw that movie that, um, oh, what's her name, Reese Witherspoon was in, where she went on the trail, yeah, we were hooked up with that trail from a side trail, and we saw a really cool view of Mount Hood from an old fire watch station. Fire watch station. So, anyways, um, fallen trees happen a lot, and we saw a lot of them. We had to climb over some of them on our trip. Um, actually, once when we were in Colorado, um, not in the Pacific Northwest or the Mount Hood National Forest, but we were with a really good friend and his family, and they took us out on this trip hiking out into the mountains of Colorado because we'd never been. So while they were fishing, we, you know, it's, if you aren't actually fishing, it gets boring, and even I heard if you aren't catching anything and you actually are fishing, it still can be very boring. But anyway, we were kind of, you know, waiting while they're fishing, so we walked up the trail a ways, and this weird little storm came through this mountain. It's like, quickly came in, wind blowing, rain dripping, and we got shelter under a tree on one side of the path. It's a good thing, and I'm like, thank you, Jesus, because on the other side of the path, like literally right in front of us, probably about 30 to 40 feet away, a tree snapped and fell against like the cliff face that was on the other side. It was incredible. And you know, after the storm like blew through, we ran over there and we're like picking up pieces of this freshly like broken wood. We're like, whoa! And then our friend Casey, hi Casey, and his family were coming back and we're like, you will not believe what just seriously happened. We saw the tree fall and that could have been us if we'd chosen to stand on that side of the path. Like we could have been smushed. So anyways, back to my painting. Um, I'm just working in some purples and reds and stuff for this tree trunk. I'll give you a little close up here. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. You can see some of my purples and a little bit of whites and yellows for the sun. My light source is up over here somewhere, a little bit out of sight. So you just picture the sun from up behind, way over here. It's coming down and it's hitting the side of the mountain face here, hence creating all our beautiful shadows. And right here, it's catching the edge of this tree. And then over here is kind of the darker portion. And then I'm going to blend it down to where it gets a lot, lot darker because, you know, once you get into the full edge, yeah, you can't see much. Even when you're hiking um, the other weekend, like we got to one side of this hill and even though the sun is out, the side of the hill is in shadow and just with all the foliage, you couldn't see any sunlight. It was, it was kind of a trip. You're like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm in a like, fantasy horror novel right now. So anyways, um, this is probably just my vlog for today. It's not going to be super long other than working on this tree, trying to get some texture in for the bark before I do some outlining. My little person's calling me. I have to help her with her vet set. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Ciao, ciao.